So um, tonight, um, one of the deep practices of Buddhism that is one of our ancient practices is deep relaxation. So that we give a lot of care and attention to, to the body, partly through the breath and partly by consciously trying to be aware of all the different body parts. And of course, there are so many body parts. We can't, I don't even know the name of all of our bones, the number of the bones and the muscles. But in Buddhism, we have a lot of um, numbers that come up. Four Noble Truths, Eightfold Path, Five Powers, Three Doors of Liberation. So I thought tonight with body, mind and heart, we can really think about um, the, the number three. And we might kind of use that as part of our deep relaxation tonight is the number three. And so I thought if I would like to suggest we just settle in a little bit more with just um, three breaths together at this time, any way you like, chest breath or stomach breath or whole body breath. Let's just take three breaths together, beginning now. And friends, with that number three in mind, body, mind, and heart, three doors of liberation, um, I wanted to um, offer today to think of Loving Day. This is June 12th. This is an international day recognizing the, um, the beginning of allowing all kinds of marriage to happen in the United States, thanks to, thanks to um, the Loving family from Virginia. And um, we recently had a big challenge in our neighborhood right in this corner, I think two blocks over on Friday night, you know, there was a, an incident of great harm. And so we can kind of hold that loving day thought and the thought of harm and also the thought of care. And those three things are part of my path to wisdom is noticing the love that surrounds me and, and being aware of the danger, the harm, the fear, seeing it, noticing it. It's not um, always wise to look away. We see what's around us. So we discern and then we find community and in community we can find strength. So um, as we're just getting ready to settle in and begin our deep relaxation, we do have those um, thoughts in mind of what's going really well for you. What's the loving thing that's happening for you right now, a strength. And also, is there a, is there a challenge, a health challenge, a, a person who'd like to offer a name, maybe someone who needs a little extra love from all of us. And, and just maybe a word or two about the community that is uh, supportive to you in the way that the International Loving Day community is very supportive to people around the world. And this is really just pop up. If you feel called to name something like that, um, one, two or three things, um, you can bow into the circle. And I think we'll, will we be able to hear you? If we just should we use the mic? Yeah. OK, so if you bow in, I will deliver the mic to you. And this is this is just free choice. If there's something that you would like to share on your mind as we're settling in, um, please feel free. Um, 
extremely grateful right now for uh, mental health recovery and for being able to be present for my my eldest child's high school graduation yesterday and um, a person who could use some extra love and support is my friend Kelly Gregory, who is facing a similar crisis with much less support alone in New York. Um, and what was the last one? Just your community, if you. Oh, um, I have a wonderful community of family, friends, and now I have kind of a recovery community as well. So that's lovely. So dear friends, I'll offer three sounds of the bell for the care that we find around us, for the challenges that we also notice around us, and for the community, the Sangha, that supports us in all these many ways. So, dear friends, I'll say a couple of things about deep relaxation, and then we can um, we can use our mindful movement to prepare for the way that we would like to share deep relaxation together. So, I've heard many times about um, restorative yoga. Perhaps you have too. So, it's a less vigorous kind of, or a less. It's not really a standing form of yoga. It's a form of listening deeply to the body. And of course, before Buddhism, we had yoga in India. And I think many of our, our very, very ancient ancestors, the animal kingdom, animals know to shake and to then to sleep and relax, to heal. And this is really what we find with the Buddhist practice of deep relaxation is a form of deep healing at the cellular level. And that allows us to stay more present in our body, um, 
when when we feel very agitated or when we have a lot of anxiety or pain, some kind of suffering. So the more routine um, practice we have of deep relaxation, perhaps that first awakening in the morning, a few moments of deep relaxation before starting your day or maybe at noontime, maybe in the evening, and maybe as part of our deep as part of our regular meditation practice, we can use deep relaxation. It's not really just taking a nap. It's actually a form of honoring the body's wisdom and really getting in touch with what's happening in here and here and here, not just always so much in here. So um, tonight we're going to either lay down with a, uh, a blanket. We have blankets, we have mats. Um, you don't need to lay down if you like to do this sitting up. Some people feel better sitting up um, and some people like to lay on the back, um, but you can also lay on your side. It's all about choice and freedom. So we're going to take a few mindful moments now to arrange the room. You can see we have space. So if you want to take a mat from over there and a blanket, you can. And I'll I'll watch you. <laughs> and it seems like when we are ready, we'll just begin. So um, do you have any questions? Have you practiced this before? Any questions? If you've ever been in a, a yoga class and at the end there's a practice of Shavasana, it's very similar to that, but it's going to be for about 45 minutes. You can listen to me or you can drift away and just listen to your own um, your own inner guide. But I will be talking a little bit from time to time and then we'll end and have a little bit more time together before we um, before we close this evening. So it's free choice if you want to be on the ground or in a chair. So I'll just sort of wait to see what you what you choose. And at home, you can be on a sofa, <laughs> on the floor, in a recliner, however you like. <laughs> Yeah, those are nice blankets. Thick. Are you are you warm enough? Do you need a pillow for your feet? Or are you good? Yeah. So we'll have three sounds of the bell and then a poem to begin and then some guidance for deep relaxation, body, mind, and heart together.
Listen to my left side. Listen to my right. Listen to all of me as this day flows in tonight. Listen to my mind. Listen to my heart. Listen to my body. Each breath, a brand new start. Listen to our ancestors, all life, everywhere. People, plants, and animals. Minerals, water, fire, air. Listen to the oneness in each unique expression. Listen ever more deeply. Love and freedom are the lesson. Please enjoy three breaths on your own perhaps in the chest or noticing the air in your nose, your nostrils, feeling the rise and fall of the abdomen. Three deep breaths. Let your body feel heavy here on the earth. Tonight, thinking again of the number three, I'm going to lead you with some words about the earth, water, and air. Our bodies share some minerals that we find in the earth, and the earth is below us, supporting us now supporting us on our time here together. Water makes life possible for all of us and many forms of water and liquid flow inside the body. We use water to clean and nourish ourselves. And we breathe in air deeply at times, sometimes not deeply. The air and space are all around us as well as inside us, between, between the molecules and inside our cells. So we are earth, we are water, and we are air. And settling into the earth that's here in this room that supports us in San Francisco in the Mission District, North America on planet Earth. Many minerals below us, many minerals within. And I, I invite you to think about the shape of your body on the ground or on your chair. In some ways we can kind of visualize a triangle from our, from our ears to our chin. This is sort of a triangular shape. Left shoulder to right shoulder down to the spine is another triangle shape. And from our feet back up to the spine, it's kind of a triangle shape as well. Of course, there's rectangles and circles and other shapes too, but thinking again of that number three and just noticing how your body feels right here at this, at this moment of time. Noticing as your breath slows down, perhaps you feel more weight 
and more support from the earth. You might like to think of a, a color that calls to you, golden light or <clears throat> green for growth or red for fire. And imagine drawing a triangle of a color that it calls to you. In some of the spaces on your body that could be triangles, maybe circles. And again, body, mind, and heart, and earth, water, space. So as well as these triangular shapes supporting us and helping us feel into our body and notice the shape and the presence of our body, the weight of our body, we also live surrounded by, well, almost surrounded. We live very near the bay, the ocean. We have a lot of underground springs in San Francisco. And this water that flows around us is a source of life for us. And the water that, that we take in is nourishing our cells, helping our body create blood and many kinds of fluids that we need to, to live well. as well as ways to cool ourselves with sweat and show our emotions with tears. So water is something that we could notice in our body through just right now, noticing the moisture in our, in our mouth, in our lips, maybe are dry or maybe not dry. Noticing if we feel dry or refreshed and maybe our throat is not dry. We've had plenty of water to drink today. Some of us can really notice our, our pulse without even touching the body in a certain way. You could just feel the pulse, especially when we're deeply relaxed. You might notice that. And that, that pulse is, is a liquid in our body, partly composed of water.
And again, returning to air, feeling the breath through the nostrils. Noticing the rise and fall of the breath in your chest. Noticing the rise and fall in your abdomen. Breathing in a way that feels very nourishing to you. Maybe an even count. Some people like to breathe in five and breathe out seven. But however you breathe, you're taking in air from, from all of us here in this room, from all over the planet. gift from the ocean, a gift from the leaves, the trees, the forests, creating air for us to breathe, offering it freely to us. And with this awareness of the air around us, you might notice if it feels, how the air feels on your forehead, on your cheeks. If you're under a blanket, perhaps just your cheeks or your face are uncovered. Maybe you have bare feet. How does the air feel on your on your palms, on your the skin, on your hands? And noticing how the air or it, it touches you. This is where this is where you are. This is where the world meets you on your skin. And our skin is a beautiful blend of the, the air that we feel against the skin and the moisture that's in our bodies and the minerals that compose our bodies. With awareness of the air around and within us, we can give our kind and caring attention to our lungs. Our lungs are one of many organs that are constantly working for us from our very first independent moment on the planet. And for the rest of our lives, our lungs are working. And we can smile to our lungs, offer gratitude for this gift of, of life, of breath, taking air from the outside, bringing it into our bodies and processing it in this miraculous way. It creates energy, helps us digest, grow new cells, all with the gift of air. And 
and continuing with our awareness of air. We know this air comes through through our throat, from our nose, sometimes from the mouth, passing down through the esophagus into the lungs. This whole breathing system is another miracle of the body that we can be so grateful for. Sometimes we need a little congestion or a sneeze or perhaps a sore throat to bring us back into awareness of how this system works so beautifully for us. Some of us have trouble with breathing, with maybe asthma or another kind of congestion in the breathing system. We can all be so grateful for the way that our our lungs and our nostril and mouth, the whole breathing apparatus works for us. Give care to others who are not so able to breathe well all the time or who are occasionally challenged with coughs and colds and allergies. And thinking again of this breathing apparatus, we know the nose is another kind of triangle shape on our body. And the bridge, the nostrils. And this triangular shape is centered in our face. And while we're here relaxing, we can feel a smile perhaps, or just a, a gentle relaxation of all the facial muscles. No particular facial expression is needed when we're resting. You and our faces can benefit from deep relaxation. They're they're so busy with all the components, eyes reading and looking, noticing and pulling in information. Our mouths are busy with eating and speaking, drinking. Smiling and communicating with with other beings that we have been with today and yesterday and tomorrow. So we feel grateful to to the hard work that our mouth does just to be part of our breathing, part of our communication, part of our digestion. So many things happening just right here on the face. You might like to be aware of the forehead above the eyes. This is a place where we often carry our cares, our worries, our wrinkled brows. Now, no need for wrinkles. Just relaxing the forehead.
the forehead just above the eyes and below the scalp. And there beneath the forehead, our, our eyes are gently relaxing today, this time together. No need to take in information. No need to notice colors or shapes. No need to read. Just letting our eyes relax and as with every other part of our, our body, our home, we, we feel grateful for all the ways our eyes help us to care for ourselves and to care for each other and to care for the world. And we have our, our ears left and right, kind of connecting at the jawline, connecting to the face. Our ears do this beautiful work of helping us listen to the voice of our beloved friends and family, beloved strangers to music, to birds, to the ocean. So many beautiful sounds come in through the ears. Now we have this beautiful, peaceful, quiet time to let them relax without needing to do the work of decoding information or listening in order to respond. Or remember. We can just feel grateful for our ears for all the work that they have done today and will do tomorrow, the next day. And inside our inside our skull, inside the bones behind or above the face, we have our beautiful brains with our our two hemispheres and all the component parts. Our brains are another miracle, another work of wonder. Now we let them rest and let the body be the center of our being. In the back of our brain near our neck, we have the brain stem. supported by all the component parts of our spine. And our, our shoulder blades that are near the spine, near the upper arms in the back. We can draw a line between the shoulders down too the very bottom of our spine and we would have another another triangle of support and our spine has all the minerals of bones and has the fluid the spinal fluid flowing up and down 
And there's space between the vertebrae. So again, our body is, is beautifully put together with, with earth components, liquid components, and space. We can enjoy gratitude for our spine and maybe notice if there are places in the spine in the back that are a little tired from carrying or lifting today. Maybe from some kind of activity. Sometimes our spine, our back, our shoulders literally carry more weight than we're prepared for. And as we, as we sit and lay in this deep relaxation mode, can give our kind attention to the muscles, the tissues, the ligaments, all the components of the back body between, them, between the brain stem and the hips, the spine and all the back region. Bringing our attention again to the shoulder blades. We can think of both our left arm and our right arm above the shoulder blades where our shoulder sockets connect to the body. And we give our loving kindness to our upper arms the shoulders, elbows, the lower arms, the wrists, the palms, the fingers, the fingertips. Our arms and our hands and our shoulders have been very busy for us today. Holding, lifting, carrying, perhaps hugging. And we can be so grateful that we have both of our arms and our 10 fingers. We can be aware of where we feel fatigue or dryness in the skin, making note of that. Perhaps a little extra awareness of where we might need loving kindness with lotion or massage later this evening. But for now, just, just aware of the arms, the hands, the fingers, the joints. Aware with gratitude and much loving kindness. Moving up from our fingertips back to the wrists, the lower arms, the upper arms, the shoulders. We can let our kind attention come up to up to the chest area above the shoulder blades. And let it float down to our abdominal area, this region of digestion. 
with all the many, 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 many feet of intestines, stomach, kidneys, liver, appendix, gallbladder, all of these parts working to bring in nourishment to the cellular level from the food that we digest, the food and the drink. We can be so grateful for all this hard work that happens. Very often with no awareness from us. Sometimes we notice a little rumbling from hunger or a little little stuffiness from overeating or eating something that doesn't agree. But many times this digestive process proceeds. With, without our, without our noticing. So we can be so grateful and, and really consider more and more how we can bring in nutrients that are really beneficial to our digestive system. So our stomach and our liver and our kidneys are not overburdened with foods that are hard to digest or foods that might be pleasing to the palate, but hard to process. And continuing with our awareness and our appreciation for our body, our home here, supported with earth, with water, with air. We can be aware of the hips, left and right, the pelvic area, the way our our legs nestle into the pelvic bone area. Amazing joint system. It's able to make circles and climb stairs and bend over and find so many shapes and so many ways to move the body in an upright position. And our two hips work together with the muscles behind, behind the back, the muscles in front of the legs, quadriceps, hamstrings, working together with the hips to connect with the two miracles of our knees that also are able to make so many kinds of movement. And our knees connect to, to our lower legs, front and back, calves and shins. Living in a, in a place with a lot of stairs and a lot of hills in San Francisco, sometimes we can feel a lot of tightness in our shins and our calves just laying here on the ground, they can just melt a little bit into this earth. And our shins connect to our, our ankles. We have more beautiful circular motion as we do in our knees and our hips and our wrists. 
and our elbows and our shoulders. And there in our ankles, we connect the legs left and right with the feet left and right. Our feet have perhaps got calluses on the underside. Our heels you can be aware of our heels, the arch of each foot, the ball of each foot connecting to the toes. And the toes from the bottom coming up to the top of our, our feet. And we can also, again, just be so grateful for our ability to stand up on tiptoes to reach something that's high. Be grateful for our warm socks and shoes that take care of us as we walk around in our in our homes in the city on the streets at our jobs. Perhaps sometimes we are able to walk barefoot on the sandy shores that are here at home in San Francisco area. Feeling that granular crunch massage the bottoms of our feet. And again, <clears throat> Thinking of our two pinky toes, left and right, if we thank our feet for all they have done for us today, and thinking of a line between our pinky toes that extends upward towards the crown of our head, we have a very long triangle. And in that space, we have our skin, our muscles, our tissue. All the space inside our cells, the iron, the calcium, the magnesium, the many minerals that are part of our physical composition. And as we're aware of our, <clears throat> our body with gratitude and kindness, perhaps we're feeling a, we're noticing a message, we're listening to our body deeply. Maybe there's a spot that's calling to you for extra care. Maybe now, maybe later this evening or maybe just part of our daily routine, maybe as we quiet the mind and listen to our body, perhaps some wisdom is speaking to us about something we need, something that we notice more completely now. It might just be more rest, more water, More time outside and fresh air.
I'll just listen. As you continue listening to your body with kindness and awareness and gratitude, I'll offer some Plum Village traditional songs for deepening our relaxation. With with a little, a little joy and a little beginning to come back into awareness of the room through sound. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. I don't need to hurry. Happiness is here and now. I have dropped my worries. Somewhere to go, something to do. But I don't need to worry peacefulness is here and now 
I have dropped my worries, nowhere to go, nothing to do, and I don't need to hurry. Peacefulness is here and now. I have calmed my body. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, and I don't need to worry. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow, why then oh why can't I? Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me, where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? If happy little blue birds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? So, dear friends, you might like to see yourself as a rainbow color. Maybe no more triangles, whatever shape you like. And you can slowly begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes, ever so gently with so much gratitude to your body for this deep relaxation, steep meditative practice from the wisdom of our teacher, Tay, and our many ancestors. And when you feel ready, just roll to one side or the other. And very, very gently and slowly and mindfully make your way to a seated position of your choice. As you are, as you are interested in able, you might like to give your head a little massage or give yourself a little acupressure or kind of qigong tapping. It's kind of nice to do the forehead, temples. 
Use your knuckles or your fingertips. You might prefer massage, scratching. And if you'd like to also do a little brushing, brushing is nice, the shoulders under too, or also your legs, if you like to do that. Mm. Mm. So a lot of times in a Plum Village retreat with um, our teacher Thich Nhat Hanh, after deep relaxation will be part of a, a day long or a weekend retreat. And then after this, people kind of go and journal or take a walk in nature or something like that. But since we are here in this Dharma collective of Sangha, it, it's also nice to share from the heart um, and some of you come weekly and you have a practice of sharing what's happening with your practice where you might be finding a challenge. And I will not be sitting here um, as Augusta does with question and answer, but we can do our practice of Dharma sharing so that we speak from the heart. And we also practice deep listening. While one person is speaking, we are giving our full attention, our, our loving kindness, and exercising the muscles of deep listening because in our just as we often don't take time to relax our bodies we also often are um, encouraged in the busy world around us to be planning what to say next and so deep listening is a way to practice giving a really really solid grounded attention to the speaker and i know for myself I'm so grateful to have someone listen deeply. <laughs> and so we can we can share that now as as you feel called to do. Um, sometimes after deep relaxation, words are hard. So you might talk about something from how you care for your body or something else that's on your mind. <laughs> 